Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today, wait, I'm saying welcome back, you could be new. So we, <sighs> really getting the words out today. We buy and sell pre-loved luxury items. We also make content which helps you authenticate them. We do unboxings. We do are they worth it? And any sort of things you'd need to know about luxury brands, we do it. Um, and today we're going to be talking about the LV Runaway sneakers. We're going to talk about price, comfort, all of that jazz. So if you haven't already, or if you want to do it at the end, please like and subscribe to this video so we can make more content for you guys just to help you understand what you're dealing with when you're buying luxury fashion. So let's get into this video. Right, so price point. Let me get the receipt. Let me get that. Okay, so price point is these shoes retail for £940. Um, a customer just didn't want them anymore. So we thought, why not add them to the collection? So let's open them up. We've got the gloves on. If any of you guys know anything about me, um, I am the clumsiest person you'll probably ever meet. Anyway, so as you open the box, the shoe comes in a dust bag. We've also got a spare lace, spare laces. Um, and first reveal, are you ready? So this is the LV sneaker. These are a size 6.5. Um, I think he said they were too big for him or too small. I can't remember. Um, so overall, this is a new colorway. So this is one of the new colors that they brought out in 2023. Um, you've got the denim monogram across uh, the shoe. We've got leather. We've got mesh. Um, we've again got the half and half sole, but um, unlike the women's trainers, which I'll try and put a photo here, the women's trainers have like half rubber, half suede, where these are just a two-tone um, suede. We'll do a close-up in a bit anyway, so that you can see it. And overall, I really like this colorway. I'm not the biggest fan. They brought them out in these, and a, uh, not a light gray, it was a gray and yellow. Um, I will add a picture of that so you can see. But overall, I don't mind this, this colour. I think it's quite nice for summer. Um, especially for a guy. There's a bit of pink in there. So if you're a guy that can rock a bit of pink, then they're for you. Um, so yeah, as I said, good nice shoe. Comfort. All of our clients have said that these are quite comfortable. Um, they fit true to size, so make sure you buy your size when buying the shoe. The detail, there's quite a lot of detail in the, uh, in the shoe. So if I can show you here, they've put the Louis Vuitton, uh, like obviously Vuitton logo. They've got um, their monogram sort of like stamps in the sole here. And they've obviously got it here. And then on the tongue, they've got it as well. So these are actually have got quite a big platform. So just bear that in mind. It's going to be a few inches taller. Okay, so a few more details on the shoe. The shoe is actually reflectant. So just here, as you can probably see, this all lights up. There's a lot of materials on this shoe. So here we've got suede. Then as I said, we've got mesh, we've got the denim monogram here, then we've got rubber, and then we've got a different sort of plastic textured sole. Um, they're not too heavy compared to like a B22, they're, they're quite light. Um, so I am a fan. These are a very good trainer, and you can definitely see that they put a lot of detail in them for the price point. So I'm not mad at them for the price. Um, 
So let's get into if you actually own a pair of these and you want to authenticate them or things to just look out for um, if you're going to buy off the pre-love market. So first of all, with any Louis Vuitton trainer, and I mean, there's always discrepancies, brands do get it wrong, but you should not be seeing any glue anywhere here, like no glue. Louis Vuitton have such a high standard policy. You should not be seeing any glue on your trainer. Next, um, always in the tongue of the Louis Vuitton shoes, you will see, I can't show it here, but I'll show it on the close up. You will see just here on this little blue bit of leather inside um, is the code, the serial number. Um, some fakes will come with a serial number, but obviously just check. I'm gonna count them for you. Right, so this one has five and then the size. So that could differ on, on different pairs of trainers, but this is five and then the size. So five um, numbers slash letters and then the size. Um, also, you can always sort of tell, as I've said, on if you watch any of our shorts, that you can always tell fake sometimes by the laces. These are, again, you'll see them better on the close-up. They're not rounded, they're quite flat laces. Um, yeah, that's sort of it with authenticating these. And I mean, the leather is real leather. A lot of fake shoes will come with fake leather. So if you're worried, just give them a sniff. I'm sure you'll, I'm sure you'll smell it after that. Um, and yeah, just... A lot of fake trainers you will just tell by the overall finish and neatness when you buy a pair of luxury designer trainers you're always getting that box fresh hardly anything wrong with them i feel like when you buy fakes they either the logo's off the laces are off the boxing is off i'll show you the box um and the bag um that the uh, client sent them in just so you can know for reference these trainers have been authenticated by us and Entropy, so we got the green light on these. But just check by boxes, obviously the inside of the box is not in it at the moment. But it should your box should be grainy. I've seen some very high shine um, Louis Vuitton boxes, so just watch out for that. Overall, these trainers are getting a yes from us. A lot of our customers are male and they do like this sneaker. This colorway is very new, so probably not as popular as like the older styles and the styles have kind of developed over time. They did the shoes that were like the three different colors of monogram. So it was like white, brown, and then the uh, the gray monogram. Um, again, we'll try and put a picture here. If you haven't seen them, they're a very cool pair. I don't know if they still stock them, um, but don't hold me to that, they might do. Um, I'm trying to think what other colours they brought out. Oh, they recently did a suede, like an all, all suede, uh, like a beigey, creamy nude. Again, if I can find a photo, I will put it there for you guys. Um, so yeah, if you're not so comfortable with the pink colours, completely understand. They've got a lot of different colours that you can choose from. Good trainer, as I said, price point is high and Louis Vuitton have recently had a price increase. So I think these trainers started out around 600. Again, don't quote me on that. Um, I think they were like 690 um, about a year ago or so. Um, but like everything, cost of living crisis, cost of designer crisis, everything is going up. Um, so the which is another story that we need to go into another day and i will make a, a video on this as to why luxury brands are just putting the price up when they know that everyday people are not being able to afford the luxury goods um and as i said we are a pre-love brand so we don't want to keep anything from you guys we understand how expensive luxury items are and that's why it's nice that when you come to our website you, you can get things that sort of like a fraction of the price and most of them are well pretty much everything is from a standard of good up to very good to brand new 
um, to like, as I said, fresh in the box. These probably still have the tissue in them. So we completely understand how expensive luxury items can be these days. Um, that's why we try and just drop the shoe. That's why we try and make it affordable um, or more affordable for you guys so that sort of everyone could either have a, a designer piece um, in their collection, in their collection, in their closet. Even if it's like a wallet, a keychain, a purse, we've got things from like 50 pounds and upwards. So yeah, don't necessarily just look at a designer item as being, oh my God, I have to spend so much money on items. Um, because that's not not necessarily the case i mean if you do want to splurge and want to treat yourself we're obviously here to make sure that you're making the right purchase before you do so if you are going to buy these watch this video first um as we said size stick true to size and overall it's a thumbs up from us guys as if you like this video again please like and subscribe we're trying to make more content weekly for you guys more authentication videos more reviews on items my hair is out of place more reviews on items so if you did like this video please like i'm just can you tell i'm new to the youtube live i'm like uh, 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 uh. um but yeah i'm gonna end this here thank you for watching our video and take care from all sorts.